you want to see the next car, I'll bring my K20 out and then another one after that. Oh, if yeah. you keep watching. The next one? Yeah. The next one. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're putting some solid hours into the next one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> another car feature video it's been a while since we've done one of these I don't really want to stand there because then the sun's gonna be in the camera the sun on you is probably better yeah but then you can't see because you're squinting I know great start guys <laughs> um, yeah so we are back with a car that we have wanted to do a video on for a long time now so you guys know Andy we did a video on his K20 and his Datsun which is right here actually Going on, mate? How's it going? Hi, Michael. G'day, mate. So, yeah, this is the car that we have wanted to do a video on for. How long have we been wanting to do this? Uh, this is oh, this we like a Euro one? car. Geez, the start of the year, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, probably since oh, know, January or something. Right? Yeah, the good things take yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. And it's been winter. So, yeah. 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 And that's like the. We're sort of what well, you wanted to bring this long because this is like the one that started it initially. Yeah. Um, and it, it is the kind land of cool. Cream like you'll see obviously when you see the footage of this thing like just the leap of like how good we've got since we've done this one in a short space of time to be fair the video that you did on that like the b-roll it was fucking good yeah oh i, I don't know i look back at it and it's like it's okay <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah you kind of make do with the gear you have at the time that's yeah. bloody awesome yeah mm. it was definitely cool though yeah, yeah so you guys would have uh seen the b-roll footage at the beginning of this video but once we've done the walk around of it stay tuned because at the end of it there's uh did like a little fast and furious type oh yeah yeah search. so i'll put the um uh the second half of it with the drone stuff in it and stuff at the end, end of this part yeah. so this is yarex 2 this is my 1973 616 converted <laughs> RX2, so it'll probably bug a few people. Don't but get mad. yeah, uh, this car actually started as a different car which I had, which uh, I was building, and then it was taking too long as paint takes bloody forever. And then, uh, so one night on the piss, sponsored by Woodstock, yeah, uh, <laughs> a yep. mate of mine, Ron, and I were talking. And I was just like, it's taking too long, I'd love to just buy a car, paint it, and build it from there since I had all the parts. And lo and behold, literally that next week, I was sitting at work and uh, just went on to uh, trade me. And then sure enough, this car popped up and I'd actually seen it at the Forum Rotors in Nelson uh, the prior year and really gawked over the paint. I was just like, the guy who did it did a wonderful job on this. I was, like, I was standing right here, 
and with the sun reflecting on yeah. it the way it is, like you can see sparkles in it, and it's, yeah. it's a taste a very job. tasteful, like suits a car to a T. And um, so this is a Suzuki Swift Red, I believe. If uh, I'm sure he'll correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, he just murdered it out, blacked everything out, which I, I was just like, it worked, but I was just like, just adding a little bit of chrome, and I knew that you know that. Uh, just give it that wee bit of uh, pizzazz or whatever. Yeah, because the uh, front bump is blacked out, like all the window trims and door trims, they're all blacked out. Yeah, and then I've gone through and that, that's actually vinyl. And I just tried to leave a wee bit of the old, you know, just give it a bit of character here and there. Classy, yeah. yeah, a little bit yeah. of time back into it. And yeah, just all the bits and pieces. But I'm, um, yeah, pretty happy with how, how it all came out. But the, did you do the stripe or was that? Yeah, 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 yeah mate Reese uh, whipped that up for me. But once again, just a bit of uh, the old chrome just to make it uh, pop again. But once again, the never trying to build this car to be pretty. This car is way too pretty for me. But uh, so we, it's way more too pretty for you. <laughs> like, that thing, <laughs> yeah. like that thing's ugly. Yeah, well, hey, it's just, they're not supposed to be pretty cars. These these get driven hard, uh, as they should do. But so we ended up, um my mate had said I was just like, if I was going to buy another car, that he'd buy my other one. So literally that next week. Uh, rang this guy in Nelson, I was like, I'll take it, and next thing you know, it was on its way down from Nelson, so my other car, which my mate Ryan's got now, is uh, still in the build, see, this is how long I told you to take, <laughs> and um, and yeah, so like, the paint was the one thing that I couldn't fast forward, I always wanted to, you know, like, to be as straight as a nail and all the rest of it, so that got me the leap forward, when this turned up, unfortunately, the motor was poos, so uh, yeah, we had to rip that out, so we're rebuilding you. pop the pop yeah, on yeah. it? <laughs> So she's running a Series 5 13B now, just with 48 RDO and a Davies Craig water pump, which I highly recommend. It's the first time I've used one, but um, yeah, like this thing just sits at a certain temperature and it's perfect. Day and yeah, what are your thoughts on these things? Yeah, <laughs> um, as you can see, it's about to go on for a bit of maintenance. The Phoenix radiator is probably the weak point in all of this, which is a uh, yeah, a bit frustrating. It's a, it's a shame because they work well. Like the one in my car works mint, it just leaks. Yeah. yeah, bang for buck, like they are an amazing radiator, but I don't know. You can see it's actually starting to let go on the other side of the core as well. Mm. So this is about to go back under the knife again. I'm going to have to buy a new radiator and a couple of little bits of maintenance and then full wiring job with uh, Hamish Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, so it's just all the simple bits and pieces, just 48 IDA, just keep, try to keep it simple, just so you know anything. Nothing really can break on them apart from as long as you warm it up, really. This? This is, uh, oh, so this is out of uh, FC, Series 5 RX-7 block. So they've got like quite a big port from factory. Yeah, because this hasn't been touched, but this has quite a bit of sort of, I guess yeah, what it's that. rebuilt, but it's yeah. like factory. Yeah, so yeah. my mate Corey Buchanan down south, uh, Retro Automotive, he, uh, one of the best engine builders I've uh, come across, so he, uh, Rebuilt the block and everything for me. Steve Sinclair tuned it up at uh, 185 horse. So, no slouch, but uh, yeah. funnily enough, compared to that, that's only 138 horse, and I'll probably say that's faster than this. Like, just gear ratios and yeah, all the rest of it. Like, yeah. we just had that out in Rural Puna at Chrome last week, and I can never drive this as hard as I could drive that. Yeah. I suppose, like, yeah, the six speed would come Yeah, in, come yeah, in just it's, that, that thing's phenomenal. Like, it's a go kart. This is what, like, obviously, you can see inside, like, this thing's more of a. Uh, oh, Oh yeah, there's um, as as yeah. <laughs> it would literally be impossible to do a car feature video with uh, with goobs and not have wood socks in well, my hands. That's it. Mate, Nick Murchison whipped up my exhaust in that for me. It's uh, I don't know, just good, good, good wee sound to it. Nothing over the top. I've gone and just left it factory port because I've had that many pink stickers in my life. Could not be bothered with it anymore. So I've actually got a full cup bridgey sitting in the sitting in the shed which we were going to chuck in after this one was run up but it turns out it's just I've had cops pull the thumbs up to yeah. me in this so I, it's just so it doesn't piss anyone off so well, with the exhaust like you said it it sounds really good yeah but it's tasteful it's yeah not... yeah I was going to go with the stainless but the more I've heard of the stainless ones they sound too tinny so like don't actually mind the uh the actual cast you, um with the alternator and stuff you've obviously paint matched the so Fuck Give me a heart <laughs> attack. Uh, the second time. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, got the uh, side mount. I don't know, it was just uh, good to actually like see the motor when yep. you got the alternator and everything on top. You don't actually get to really see the rotary motor in no, that so much. No. But that was sort of a fad that came out at the start when I bought that, and I actually really, really like it now. Mm. It's quite, I don't know, it's clean looking, eh? Yeah. 
But did you um, like colour match all the houses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I painted all that up when I, when I got it back after it had been built. And I got one of these is, oh, when I had one. <laughs> Funnily enough, like, even with the fuel pump and that, oh, I'm running a... Shit, what have I been up putting in it? But yeah, like the fuel pump, I don't even need... Oh, we've got the rig in there and then uh, we end up just plumbing it straight in. Yep. It doesn't like the fuel pressure and everything. It's been uh, actually spot on. Oh, okay. Yeah, was so, it a Carter one or was it like a Holly one? No, what did I end up putting in it? Get back to me. Or come to me. <laughs> I built it so, so long ago. That's basically just a factory setup. So uh, reliability's, you know, it's just uh, hasn't missed a beat. It's been pretty bloody good to be fair. Uh, 12A turbo gearbox. So it's sort of like the, the earlier FC style. So it's got the remote shifter and all the rest of it. Unfortunately, there's something going on in there. So the box is actually gonna have to come out as well. I think there's a bearing or something letting go. There's a death rattle that starts at about, well, up in, I don't know. 150, 160k, <laughs> and it sort of chases you back down to 100. So, only on the racetrack, though. Hey, editors, no. When that moves, you need to zoom in on your face. <laughs> Three times. Oh, it's not going anywhere. It's just she's fine. So, so yeah, I like did it up. So, like, basically, just in case we do take it to the track and that, which I've done a uh, chrome event, which went flawless. But um, yeah, we've done uh, FC brake conversion as well. Which actually was, I've actually had to dial the brakes out a wee bit because uh, if you stomped on it, it'd lock. So it was actually a bit too grunty. So yeah, so I've actually got them like only running probably about 60%. So like, if you push as hard as you can, it'll lock, but you can actually use a lot of the pedal. Yep. So it's actually quite nice to drive. Uh, I've got custom adjusties, which actually came out of a matte black RX2 Rookie, which was oh, a, yeah. that static yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, when he pulled that apart, I jumped on them because they were uh, quite fancy wee numbers. So uh, they've actually worked a treat. This thing drives like an absolute dream. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, considering how low it is, compared to that, like that thing feels like a go-kart. This thing actually feels like you're in a higher car. Like it's quite yes. weird. Yeah. Yeah. So with the rear, um, mate John O'Smith and I were, we were gonna do like a tunnel because I always wanted it that low. And we were basically, I think, what did I end up getting some Evo 5 or Evo 6 adjustables and we were going to like, um, the way they mount off the diff, the shock comes off the top usually. Yeah, so we, um, we basically had the shocks out and we were like just having a bit of a play around. We had them bolted up the adjustables and then we accidentally jacked the diff pass where the shocks were. It turns out the strut towers have got enough room to pull the shocks back so we made brackets off the back. Yeah. Yeah. So they've um, basically it's running uh, Evo six adjustables in the rear, and the hard race A eighty six adjustable. Um, it's the kind of stuff you see like quite a bit in New Zealand with old old school cars like this. Is bits and pieces of various cars that you just. It's make amazing work. what you can. Oh, it was one of them. Like a lot of the stuff you know, like for these cars and that are getting harder and harder to find. So I was just like, if you like re-engineer newer stuff into it sort of thing you can like you know you'll be able to buy those adjustables for years like it was you know yeah. i can run this thing with four people and at high speed and it does not touch the guards so like <laughs> how good like, it's fantastic and that's some fucking that's some jimmy oaks fitment right there she's toy <laughs> toy like a tiger uh, um all the badges new of ebay i had i've got all the badges and everything that originally come with it but you can't beat this stuff like the remake stuff is like look how good this like I've got the original ones and they don't look half as good as that, so they're all on the shelf at home. Just, yeah. just wait for all the, the purest, purest, purest yeah. that just comment. I don't hate. care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, got custom cuts. I've even got all the original ones of these, but yeah, from the guy over in Aussie, custom cuts like those things there. That, that's the stainless one. He also does alloy and all the rest of it. I got in quite early on in the piece, so uh, I think he's actually modified them to suit. But just that stainless lock, like just the shininess and all the rest of it over the alloy is. Uh, Quite, quite good. But if you come down, you might get to see a wee bit going on underneath here. Get under there. You can see the goal on the shot there. Yeah, you can sort of get the, the gist. We, shame we don't have a horse that can actually get up the air. <laughs> yeah. It's actually really, really tidy underneath this thing now as well. She's, uh, we've done it all properly. Coming inside. Come inside. Come inside. <laughs> uh, we've, uh, oh, this is a bit of a mess, but uh, yeah, we've had, the, had a full retrim front and rear seats. And uh, got these custom Mazda mats off uh, Mike Reed's school from me, uh, from a guy up north, which uh, quite obviously it's a bit of a mess. As I said, not a show car. This is <laughs> this is all the boys jumping in, in the piss. So uh, 
Yeah, just trying to keep the original theme. Like, obviously, when we were younger, we just ripped all the shit out and threw it away because <laughs> everyone wanted a JMX bucket seat and a fucking. <laughs> yeah, we were quite idiots, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously, she's the wiring and everything. Else. We've just been having a look at it because it's, it's going to set up exactly what we're going to do with it next. But uh, yeah, so my mate uh, Lewis down in uh, Ashburton at uh, the. Tinwall Canvas Company, he does, does all yep. my uh, recovering. Yeah, he did yeah. the uh, things like, yeah, he's uh, the mastermind behind all my recovering of all my stuff. Small yeah. world. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Oh, if you're into cars, mate, we're a great bunch. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, this is my mate Bong Nick. <laughs> he uh, scored this for me years ago, like when I just first got my other RX2. <laughs> I'm a guy I had this, he knew, had like sitting in the back of his wardrobe, so 180 bucks. Jesus. Right. Cheap. You wouldn't want to know. <laughs> you wouldn't want to know. So yeah, I think I'm running, it's like a Series 3 dash top. So everything on this car is rotary, but it's like, like, I think that's like a Series 2 bonnet, Series 3 dash. So like, I'm, as I said, I'm not a purist, but... And here's the purist just frantically writing <laughs> out <of the> comments. <laughs> Beating sweat. As you can see, like, this is the old glorious green. So this is actually an Australian import. Uh, the guy, I think they imported two of them from, from memory, yeah, and uh, they've done one up and kept it themselves and then they've painted this one up as like a, a second one. But uh, yeah, as I say, like, look how good it is. Yeah, this this is a good looking car. Mm. Actually, this was something for some of you real OGs remember. When I first moved into my workshop, there was one video where you drove past and you had to lock up in the same spot and I stuck the camera out the window Yeah. Like, fucking noisy neighbours yeah yeah noisy right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah guilty <laughs> yeah. so obviously there's a lot of little bits and pieces I've got to sort out of my washes and... right this is the first reincarnation of it so she's uh, going to go away for a, maybe a month or three and then uh, hopefully we'll come back a little bit better and all the rest of it and yeah I might even take it up to North Island next year Yeah. and sell my little bits and pieces with my vinyl don't see even like on the back of here. Yeah. You can see like they can chuck the old mirror on them on it all chrome. Like, look, look at me little details. It's all vinyl. It just gets rid of the half of the shininess. <laughs> yeah. As we were talking before, hey, we don't want to rag out on the Phoenix radiator too much. The cap works fine. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, she's um, scrubbed up pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, I absolutely love this thing. Got any other plans for it? Um, yeah, well, yeah, you said you want to take it off. Yeah, yeah, it's right, more more just tidying things up really at the uh, at this point in time. Like I don't really, I d it doesn't need more power. Like I don't want it to be any louder. Just cause especially the fucking cops these days are uh, fantastic. Our <laughs> uh, wheels come with the car. They're just a 15 by 8 with a my 195 45 15, which I run on every single vehicle. <laughs> 15 by 8 zero offset on all of my old cars. Like it is the top of the rim entire fucking package, I reckon. Essentially, I might just break the rear. No. I don't want to put a lock diff in it because then I will be a fuckwit. <laughs> um, yeah, and maybe like it's one of them. It's like, do you put a sound system in it? It doesn't really need it. This but thing I might... has a sound system already. Oh, yeah, it's it's correct, moment. correct. <laughs> yeah, well, I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, it's just really tightening things up. Apart from that, I think this is basically how I'll leave it. It ain't broke, so don't fix it. Yeah. But, so we've already done the obviously the b-roll footage and, and stuff like that riding in this thing this turns more heads than any car i have ever been in That's just between how it looks and especially when we're going through town uh, it, it idling away just everyone uh, who doesn't like a rotary yeah, yeah like, there's something about like even like little boys to through to fucking like, old men and fucking yeah. even, even ladies when we were sitting up getting the drone footage and the, that woman comes straight up she's like oh, look at this Mazda oh remember I had one it's like that many people that come up to me and be like I had one of these everyone has got a story about an old Mazda yeah. Yeah, they're just I don't know timeless timeless vehicles I don't know like even like the rear seat like this is actually <laughs> it had already been recovered when I bought it so it's so actually a 616 back so I've got another RX2 one, which is actually they come with the uh, fold down bit. So that'll be coming to you soon, Lewis. <laughs> you know, my word. So yeah, just uh, finish up that. Just for a wee arm rest and we'll put some cup holders in it. Because, you know, where are you going to put your boobin? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you actually start it with a key would be nice. One day, I don't know, I think they're doing them through now. Instead of, uh, this is um, about Hamish because uh, I was actually starting it with a screwdriver. 
<laughs> off the uh, off the bit. So we've uh, just chucked in this uh, funky wee thing you will see in that video. So it's just. Uh, oh, we'll go around the back. said like you can drive around like nobody's like fucking looking at you like nah. yeah it's super so exactly hard. right and even like uh, like these are my little touches if you come in here look i don't have a boots around but i run a t-shirt right and <laughs> what? i didn't even realize it was a t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> joel will be selling these soon and, uh, <laughs> so that's how i stop all the fucking fumes coming in Looks good from the outside. I build 10 meter cars, not fucking. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it's purpose built. Everything has a purpose. <laughs> it's good. So I hope you guys like it. But Sweet. One of them. But um, yeah, well, the only thing probably uh, might see is uh, in maybe a month or four with my new build that's coming up. My uh, we Datsun 1200 Ute, yeah. which is uh, yeah, I've kept it under wraps pretty good, but um. Yeah, it might be a wee bit special, so uh, watch this space, really. Well, that'll wrap it for this one, guys. Cheers for watching. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll chuck a link to Andy's Instagram in the description below. Also, go check out uh, Mike's channel on YouTube, Obsessive Media. Again, I'll chuck a link uh, to that below as well. Um, he's going to be uploading all of the b-roll footage and stuff that, and the montages that he makes for these videos on his own channel, just as, you know, to build up his own brand a little bit so. yeah just just to pretty much just document yeah. what i've been doing pretty much yeah. And yeah one last thing all these videos goes out to you might have uh, noticed from the first two we're missing someone yeah. my little chicken nugget oh, passed yeah, away yeah, uh yeah. old Tui. the uh old age got her grand old age of 17 but she had a uh a great thing but um yeah so the, these are a bit of a tribute to her i'm glad she was in the first two yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. And have you got a, there were some funny moments oh most yeah. definitely yeah. every day was a Grand with her, but yeah, if you've got a, you got an animal or a dog, just you know, spend some time with it. Yeah, you know, definitely. Miss her immensely. Yeah. Mm. Sweet guys. Well, we'll wrap this video out with the uh, second video that Mike put together. So enjoy, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. We, we like dogs on this channel. Yeah. Oh, we can't even pet it. <laughs> 17 in a week. Hey, you are right? Hey. Put a quick shout back out to Jono. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, here we are. S15 uh, dash as well. Yeah, so, um, but there, we'll just stay there. This is the best bit of all. I wanted everything to work. All the gauges work, everything. I didn't even realise that you had the... <laughs> 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 oh, Tilly, that's at least a 2 out of 10. Well done. Well done. <laughs>